So it's July 4th, 2011. We're making our way out to New Wacom Lake. Uh -oh. We got a map drawn by our drunken Indian co-worker. So hopefully it gets us there. We'll see. Uh, the dog squatting. Yeah. We are just past the radio tower. Yeah. Here's a little view of the scenery we're at. We got a nice little rocky area here. Mount St. Helens, up in the great distance. Up around the corner, that way you can see Mount Rainier. And we got Little Biscuit looking around. Hopefully more video to come of us not being eaten by cougars. Now we're here taking a break. Uh, we are a bit further on than we made last time, and we did not take a wrong turn. I don't think we've taken a wrong turn yet. So we haven't had to do any backtracking, but this time, this whole area is not covered with snow. We had a good eight inches last time we were coming through here, and it is so much easier now, it is mind-blowing. So, we're making a lot more progress. It's still not quite noon, and we're doing good. Also, I've made a new friend on this trip, this tiny pine cone. I've named him Steve. So we've come around. On the other side of the tower, we're about 180 degrees around from where we were before. Had to loop around this entire hill. Last time we were here, we named this Disappointment Canyon because it was not full of lake. It's got a nice view. Well, it seems we've made it. Oh, these bugs. It seems we've made another wrong turn. At least this time it's a bit different. Uh, we were following. When we were passed by a couple of folks in the Toyota pickup and some guy on a Yamaha, and uh, they were both amazed that we were hiking out to this lake. Apparently, that's pretty dumb. So we're gonna have to do some backtracking. We found a bit of snow here, and there are no Yamaha or Toyota tracks in it. We are boned. So we got to go back and backtrack. On the plus side, the backtracking is all downhill. Also, this is the first serious snow we've seen today, so that's that's okay. So we just crested a hill here, and I think we're actually in sight of the lake, the, uh, the correct lake. According to the instructions from our drunken Indian co-worker, our best bet to get there was to just pitch over the edge. I don't think we'll be doing that. There's a road that hangs to the left. Apparently there's a gate down there. But uh, there's a road to the right that according to the people in the Toyota should hang us eventually around the lake. So we're gonna give that a shot. We've got Mount St. Helens over there. We're on the final approach to the lake right now. And I believe that is Mount Adams over there. So here we are on the worst camping trip that I've ever had. Uh, we saw the lake at 2.25 this afternoon. Uh, we went to the right to try to get down and get access to it, following directions from yonder drunken Indian. Uh, we had no luck there. Tried another route over to the right, had no luck there, had to backtrack some more. And uh, there was some more backtracking and more backtracking. And a lot of uphill. Uh, so we ended up taking a left from where we saw the lake. I went down to the Weyerhaeuser gate, stopped there, decided to fuck, to just uh, camp there, so we set up find, to find water, but, and I uh, had no luck, and we also have not found the lake, we're just going to call it a night there, so we found a place to camp, and tonight we will be siphoning water from that mud puddle, delicious. I can't wait. And I also can't do anything but swat the bugs off of me. So, uh, What we'll be doing in the morning, I'm not sure. It's been four hours since we first saw the lake and we nowhere near it. So, Maybe we'll just head home in the morning. What do we appear to have out here are Russian infantry flies that though I am covered in the corpses of their brethren, they feel the need to push on and succeed where the others have failed. You would think they would... never mind. <laughs>